You look like you have a good personality. Jesus Christ. Thank you. That's high in protein. Nice to meet you. Nice can to we, meet you. Can we do a quick uh, interview? What kind of interview? Ones I'm going to send to my mom, like wholesome. For my, for my buddies. Okay. It's not press. I'm not, I'm not okay. important. I'm just a random Asian guy. So, All right. yes. I've never seen you before. I am new. But I've only been You do look pretty young. Months. You look like I'm you just 18. turned 18. Yeah, I yeah. guess. What was your influence? How'd you, how'd you get into it? I was a stripper at first. Well, yeah, 17? No, at 18. I'm okay. almost 19 in a month. You're a fast learner. <laughs> yes, You're a fast, fast learner. Fast, fast learner. Crazy. Are you based in Vegas? No, I'm in Florida, actually. Miami? Yes. You work at 11? No, I don't. That's the only one that I know. That's like no, the... that's like one of the big ones. I worked at like a more... It's probably better to work in a more low-key one. You don't have all that competition. Yeah, and you know? it was also like a gentleman's club. I feel like if, like, I've been in Vegas for 10 years, and uh, I think a lot of girls come here, they think it's easy money, but then they're just competing with, like, everybody else that I know. So, so, like, to work here, everybody has to wear pink, or what's the, is that, no. the, is that the dress code? You gotta no, be, we just all kind of, what's that? We just all, like, wore pink. Oh, just a coincidence? Yeah. I've never even heard of Fox Model. I'm new, but I'm... And what's like, what kind of stuff do you guys film? What do you mean? I don't know, like, there's anime porn, there's big black cocks, there's fucking I mean, it's stepsister all on shit. personal preference. Like, oh, yeah. like, what do you, like, what do you. I don't do anal. <laughs> That's the second girl in a row. I don't do anal. I don't do anal. First one. Oh, yeah. No butt stuff. Is that what um, everybody asks? Yeah. Is there more money in I've it? I've done, yeah, there is, but... Well, stop, stop doing black boots then. Why? If you, if you, I think Asian guys are the best for anal. Like, we don't rip your asshole apart. Well, there's some guys that, you know, have big dicks, but... It doesn't really matter. Yeah, there are Asian guys with big dicks. There are. It doesn't matter. Just like there are some that are six feet tall, But so. yes, I have done some BBC in my life. Who you has? You know who Dick Trainers is? What? You know who Dick Trainers is? Dick Trainer? Dick Drainer. No, dude. Probably some black dude. Just look him up on Twitter. Yeah, he's crazy. I only know Great white porn. So I'm good friends with Eric Everhart. He's like, he's like 40. He's probably retired. I don't know who that is. That's like 300, 3,000 bodies later. I think he's... Have you worked with... Uh, What's his name? He lives in Vegas too. Johnny Sins? No, I haven't. Do you want to? Yeah. Have you worked with any Asian guys? Yeah. Like, uh, what would the scenario be? It was James like, you need, Bay. You, you, need help, you need help with your biology No, it was class. a live stream, so we just fucked. With an Asian guy? Yeah. Does live stream even, like, pay that much? Yeah. I feel like... It's the same. I feel like... Well, I, I put my stuff on YouTube, so... I'm guessing you're not uploading onto YouTube, so... Uh, what was I gonna say? But I feel like with live stream, once it's over, like, it's done, right? Whereas, like, you put it on... Yeah, but they also, like, film it, like, for the live stream. Oh, okay. How do, you, how do you find guys to work with? I get... I have an agent, so he oh, kind of... And there's companies that will reach out, and then the company is kind of, like, have the idea of what they want to do, and then yeah. they find the male talent. Is your agent like the people that work behind the scenes are mostly dudes, right? Yeah. Why is that? They're all pedophiles. What? <laughs> they're all pedophiles. Hey, you just turned 18, so. Yeah, I mean, hey, I'm gonna they're pay. They're all pedophiles. Yeah. But we're exposing the I mean, whole industry. Holy of shit. Course. But Man, like, all of them. All of them. All yeah. Jeffrey Epstein, all of I swear. them. Swear. No, like Maybe. most of them are. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, duh. Now listen, you can vote now, so. You can vote. Yeah, I can vote. Good. Trump or Biden? <laughs> We're getting political here now, huh? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't vote for either. So, does Trump support porn rights or I Biden? Don't, I don't know. And I literally don't know anything about politics. I'm just a fucking porn star. My, well, you're in Florida, right? Yeah, it's a fake taxi. Wait, you said yeah. you're from Florida. Yeah. So, Miami, that's like... Trump headquarters, yeah, Yeah, I know. it's like I boats know. and guns and yeah. yacht parties. Yeah, the guns Where part... I love the cousins in Florida. I will say. Where, like, where'd you grow up? Though? In Florida. <laughs> born and raised. Like I was born, I moved there when I was like two months old. You live in Brickell? No. Where I live do you in live? Fort Lauderdale. Oh, that's where all the old white.
Thai people it's live, like right? It's like 20 minutes from Uber. So it's, it's kind of, it's less like chaotic. More north. More normal. Not as party, 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 you know? So you were born in, the, you, you went to high school there too? No. I went, it's like a smaller city. It's not in Miami. It was like more like up. Like Key West? I don't know. No, you lived in a shack? No, it's like, I heard like the more north you go, the more south it is. That makes sense. You know what I'm talking about? It does make sense, yeah. I, forgot. yeah. I can't wait for a Grand Theft Auto to come out. It's like in real life. So I can just go to your neighborhood and watch you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, okay, so how did so you you met a connect while stripping or how So it? she was in porn back in 2016 Who? actually. Her name was Lily Jordan. I'm oh, not sure. You she was like her. the just lame Maxwell. She was 18. So she got into she's 25 now, but she got into it when she was 18. Yeah. And she kind of I was in a bad situation. She told me what about What happened? Porn. Ex toxic ex-boyfriend. Exactly. Was See, it really? Point. Yeah. Um, See, you gotta date a wholesome Asian guy, like studies finance, accounting, free you right. Like trying to sell yourself. Are you gonna? This is what you bills? get. Like, well, what's his race? Shit. What's his what? race? Oh, he was light skin. He, he was, was black. Like half black, half white, not full black. Okay. So he was like a uh, Steph Curry black. Just like light, like not that dark at all. Okay. Yeah. What happened? He was just toxic and crazy. Are you toxic? I was toxic back, but now. But now you mature. Yes, now and that I you're also 18. will not allow, I will never put myself in a position like that. So, do you have like a mentor or do you just like Google shit how to run a business? Or do you just trust your agency to do everything? I do everything on my own. Really? Yes. Like you Google SEO and marketing and Why, like what are you TikTok? trying to sell me here? I don't know. I mean, I do, I do have a pretty good online. It's probably too late for me to get into porn, although. No, it's never too late. Me and my friends, we were thinking about starting an OnlyFans agency in Colombia, but I was like, nah, I don't want to move to Cali, Colombia. OnlyFans agencies are so stupid. Like, listen, I'm going to be honest with you because they take so much of your money. And yeah, like, they do. As someone who is in the industry and yeah. has had many offers on porn, I mean, on OnlyFans. Yeah, we, we would probably take all of it. I would never do that. Well, that's because you're smart. I Girls in Colombia, they don't want to work. They just want to like get it done. They'll just be like, give me twenty dollars, and then you keep the rest. So yeah, it helps I'll to be. I'll work hard, and then I'll like also keep on working. What do you do besides? Uh, for only fans, ice cream. What do you like? What are your normal hobbies? Going to the beach, reading. I love to read. I love to be at what, tanning. What, what kind of books do you read? Self help books mainly. Really? Yeah. Give me one. Atomic um, Habits? No, there's this really good book. It's called um, Men Are From Mars, Women oh, Are shit. From Venus. Wasn't that written by... The opposite. That was it's, written by... It's the guide to understanding the opposite sex. So that book honestly really helped me. Really? Like, you read it me. afterwards, right? Okay. After the toxic relationship. Yeah. See, we all need to get fucked over in life. We it's do. A, it's a wake-up call. It's a call. It's a... Because you want to know something? When shit hits the fan, that's when you are like aware and like, yeah. you can you're too comfortable. things. You get too comfortable. Yeah, exactly. I have a lot of clients. I have a lot of... I, I teach guys dating. Yeah. So they always come after like a divorce or they lose a house or like... I had a, it's I, like you should go while you're in a relationship because that's when you're... They don't, they don't want to be proactive. Like dating an OnlyFans girl only to get cheated on or they, they fly halfway around the world to meet some girl in the Philippines only to get ghosted. I'm like, yeah, you should have done this a little bit earlier. Yeah, no, so, better, better cuckoo. So you read a lot of dating books? Not dating books, no, but like that was one of the books that I read. I read the 48 Laws of Power. Oh, shit, you're a Robert Greene fan. That was a good one. You know what? I'm impressed. Um, yeah. You're the, you're the most well-read 18-year-old I met today. I did not, I did not expect to get into, uh... The 48 self Laws of Power? Yeah, dude. <laughs> There's one called Don't Outshine the Master. Yeah, no, you don't have a master, so it doesn't matter. No, I don't. So, that'd be like if you had a, a pimp. porn. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he is a pimp. Wait, what? I mean, your ex Your ex-boyfriend, what did he do for work? He was a truck driver. So, so he, he was drive, gone? He would drive, he would go on like two-week vacations. <laughs> and he swore oh. I was cheating on him, and I wasn't. 
So he was insecure. I'm very insecure because yeah, I started man. dancing while. I thought we black guys dancing. weren't insecure. Very insecure. It was the white part of him. It was the um, it was the Jeff side, not the market, not the Marcus side that was getting insecure. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Fuck. Yeah, I can't be a truck driver. Asians were really terrible drivers. You are? Yeah. In Asia, we're really good drivers, but somehow when we come to America, we don't know how to drive anymore. Maybe it's us Americans, we don't know how to drive. When I was a kid, my mom ran into a school bus and a fire truck. Is she so, okay? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. It was in Nebraska. We had freezing rain, so. Okay, so you read books. What else do you do for fun? I go to the beach and I smoke weed. Yeah, you seem pretty. Workout. You seem pretty chill. Yeah. What's true. like a What's like a good gym in Miami? Where do all the baddies hang out in Miami? I go to Equinox. Fitness. Oh no! All right, we gotta end this interview. <laughs> do they Do they feed you pizza? No. Why would really? I get pizza? That's, that's true. Do you get Do you get the lung alarm when they When they uh, When you lift too hard? Do you Do you run at the gym? Yes. Do you Do, you do squats? Yes. Good. I do RDLs. Listen, give you a quick advice. The porn industry for females, very quick. You gotta like take care of your, you gotta like take yeah. care of yourself. Like it's really easy to do a shit ton of coke and then pretty soon you're out of the industry. So how long do you want how long do you wanna be in it? Um I'm probably quitting soon. Really? Yeah. In and out, like eighteen in and then you're gonna quit before you're nineteen. Eighteen out, yeah. What is that? then what are you gonna do? Do I want to have businesses? I have a missing um, What license. kind of business? Um, I'm not going to spill my business plans online. Oh, okay. That's all. But that's I just cool. want to own yeah. multiple businesses, have like some shops, just like figure things out, but also like focus on my brand as well and like that's focus smart. on like selling stuff and like just things that I can sell, like lingerie, yeah. literally anything. You know what I'm saying? Well, you better start making friends with Chinese people because that's where all the manufacturing. You better, China. you better go to Shenzhen and make some. <laughs> hey, you seem pretty, uh, pretty cool. Let me get your Instagram. Yes, yes, yes. I don't have any posts. But, I'll, uh, when uh, I if upload, you text me, yeah. If you text me, if you tag me, I'm gonna start posting all. When I uh, when I post this on YouTube, I'll tag you. So. I'm just restarting my feed. That's all. Okay. Don't mind.